Welcome to Genos Historia, a channel dedicated to explaining the cool new things that DNA, especially ancient DNA, is revealing to us about the ancestral history of human populations. This video you're watching is episode 3 of my 9 episode series on Viking ancient DNA. Here in episode 3, I'll be looking at DNA results from an early Viking ship burial on an island right next to Estonia. This ship burial is a very fascinating archaeological find. It dates to the very beginning of the Viking period to about 700 to 750 AD. Inside this ship are the remains of 40 Vikings, so this was a huge burial. And in their burial are very rich grave goods, including fancy ornamented swords, gaming pieces, and even shark bones. So they proved that these were legit Vikings, and they were pretty rich Vikings too. DNA was sequenced from 34 of them. Something cool that it showed about them was that four of them were brothers and all the brothers were buried right next to each other. I don't know how these Vikings died. Considering they were all buried together, I'd assume they died in some type of battle at the same time. But I haven't read anything about wounds on their skeletons. So I guess not. And I guess maybe they're all buried there, at buried inside of the ship at different times. Before I get into the DNA results from the Vikings in this fascinating burial, I need to make two things clear. The first thing is that this ancient DNA comes from the study of Margarin 2020. And the second thing is that the opinions that I express in this video are not the opinions of Margarin 2020, but are my own opinions that I came to by studying the DNA myself using the G25 PCA from the Eurogenes blog. However, in this case, with these DNA samples, me and Margarin 2020 agree completely. Anyways, let's look at the DNA results for these Vikings. So, what the DNA shows is that all of them were 100% Scandinavian. So it's not really much to talk about. But not only can we say that they're 100% Scandinavian, we can say that they came from the exact same Swedish population. So they came from probably the same village, same tribe, same little kingdom, whatever the case is. And they all came together and went on Viking raids in Estonia and then were buried in this ship after they died. This may not seem like a big surprise to you. This is kind of the typical story that people tell when they talk about Vikings. But if you remember in my last two episodes of this series, the first two episodes of the series where I looked at Viking DNA in England, Ireland, Scotland, Iceland, and Greenland, a lot of them had mixed ancestry. So to see to, to now see Vikings who are all 100% Scandinavian actually is kind of kind of a surprise. I think a reason why they're all 100% is probably because they came straight from Sweden. And we know this from their from the isotope analysts of their bones, which show that they're all born in Sweden and then came on this ship and sailed to Estonia. The samples I looked at in the first two episodes, on the other hand, many of them were born in the places that they're in, and all of them were involved in Viking communities outside of Scandinavia. So this can explain why many of them had mixed ancestry. While these Vikings in Estonia were not a part of a Viking colony outside of Scandinavia, they came straight out of Sweden, which can explain why none of them were mixed and they are all 100% Swedish. If you'd like to know how I know these Vikings were specifically Swedish instead of just Scandinavian, I do have time in this video to explain to you how I know this. It's the same way of how I know that the Vikings that I talked about in the previous episodes in Ireland and Scotland were specifically Norwegian. And it's by looking it's by looking at all of the 100% Scandinavian DNA samples from the Viking Age. What I do is I plot them on a West Eurasian PCA. And so you can kind of look at the European variation as I look over Europe. You see Lithuania, some of the Eastern European countries over here on the far right, Russia, Poland. And then you can see the Scandinavian samples on the PCA that I have highlighted in solid diamonds and they're kind of a bigger shape than the other samples and you can see that I have the Scandinavian samples in two different colors the and this is because Scandinavian variation is kind of split up into a western and eastern cluster on the western or on the right side of this variation you can see that I have the Scandinavian samples are colored in yellow these samples are from Denmark and South Central Norway 
And then on the on the right or the eastern side of this variation, you can see that the Scandinavian samples are colored in purple, and they are the samples from Sweden and northern Norway. So what I see when I look at Scandinavian variation in the Viking Age is that I see that the samples from Denmark and South Central Norway are on the left or the western side, and that the samples from Sweden and northern Norway are on the right or the eastern side. And so there's only slight variation in Scandinavia, but there is some, and I can see that when I put these Vikings from Estonia onto this variation, I see that they are clearly on the right side or the eastern side with the samples from Sweden, clearly showing that they are from Sweden. And by the way, in an upcoming episode where I look at the origins of Scandinavians, I'll be looking at this in more detail, in more art articulate detail. And I actually use these, these Vikings from Estonia as kind of a reference for Viking Age Sweden. Another cool way to confirm that these Vikings in Estonia came from Sweden is looking at modern DNA. So on the screen here I have a list of the closest modern populations to them in the G25 PCA. And you can see that Swedish people are at the top, being their closest modern relatives with, with Norway at number two. So these are just cool ways to confirm that these Vikings in Estonia are from Sweden, which is which is pretty obvious just looking at their isotope analysts and just looking at basic geography, but it's just cool to see it confirmed with DNA. That's it for this episode. I know it was a bit confusing because I really rushed it. I didn't really explain those things very well. In my next video, stay, you should watch it. I'm going to be looking at descendants of Vikings in early Russia. It's going to be pretty interesting, so stay tuned for it.